Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, my name is Ginger Snaps and we are continuing with Tell Me Why. Uh, we are in chapter three. Big, climactic, pivotal information is going on. We are learning information. We are doing the right thing. We are taking care of, of business and we, we, we make a big move. We make a big move in this episode. Um, you know, Allie's struggling with everything that's been going on leading up to this moment. You know, Tyler pushing and pushing to try to remember who dad is. And Tyler pushing Allie a little bit farther than he maybe should have. And... Allie beating herself up and and being so so upset and it's it's definitely a definitely a very emotional point in the game um, and it's very emotional for me I was streaming this live on Twitch with my community and this is kind of this is where we're kind of really getting into the kind of mean the potatoes of the story. So uh, I'm going to stop babbling and we're just going to, we're just going to watch and you guys will be shocked at some of the things that, that happen in this, in this video. So enjoy. That was kind of what I expected coming into this. Hit and hit, getting punched with the feels right away. God, a space heater would feel so good right now. Hi, Dee. Hey, beautiful. Are you okay? Because, girl, you look like shit. I uh, <laughs> haven't been sleeping well. But here I am. That's how much I love you, right? Aw. Well, I appreciate us having a girl's lunch anyway. Just give me five minutes so I can finish off this paperwork. Oh, no rush. I need to drop off some stuff with Eddie. All right. Oh, uh, help yourself to some cobbler. Mrs. Romero sent it over after I caught her flasher. It's in the break room. <laughs> you better hurry before Gregs kills it off. Mrs. Romero's cobbler? I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you in there when I'm done with this. Perfect. So the cobbler is what triggers. Mm -hmm. Let's go. At least we didn't spend the night here. <laughs> Does it sit and wait? Sounds like Eddie's busy. It shouldn't bother him. I should probably drop the paperwork here. Eddie's going to be busy for a while. Probably shouldn't eavesdrop, but I guess we kind of exposed some holes in their security. <laughs> so they've got a new policy about getting into the break or getting into the archive room. Uh, yep, we did a thing. Uh, so there's not much to explore. I how Uncle's feeling about me moving away. We haven't really talked about it. Morning. Hello, Miss Ronan. Hello, Gregs. Hey, Gregs. hey, Allison. What brings you here today? Nothing really. Just waiting for D. Then pull up a chair. Okay. I love that the counter isn't. <laughs> the, the cabinets are propped up on two by. I love it. Oh, that's fucking great. That's what I expect, though. Oh. Oh. Mm, dessert for lunch. Pretty cool, right? Uh, <laughs> pretty cool. Yeah. I've always had a sweet tooth. Got it from my mom. She baked darn near every day. Need to start being a little careful, though. What are you having? Trout pie and uh, black radish. 
<laughs> I'm on a diet. A cobbler diet? <laughs> hey, shh, 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 shh. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> what you reading? Oh, uh, about that dock strike and the trouble these folks are causing for everyone else. Ugh. Hate strikes. What is this, Paris, France? Come on. It's the only way most people have to get anyone to listen. Facts. Hey, Gregs. Uh... So, what's the criminal underbelly of Delos Crossing been up to lately? Eh, poachers, <laughs> vandalism, a few memorable cases of public indecency. <laughs> Nothing too serious. Yeah. Which is fine by me. Boring is good. Not like Juno. My daughter's always begging to move there, but that is not happening. Why? Juno's awesome. There's, like, actual things to do there. Drugs, that's why. Property crimes double the national average. People come in all the time from God knows where. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, Gregs. Vacation plans? Got any big vacation plans coming up? Yeah, we'll probably go up to Anchorage for Thanksgiving. Linda's sister lives up that way. But I'm also secretly planning oh. a family trip to New York City for New Year's. Ooh. Been saving for two years, and I got it all arranged under a fake email. That's really cool. Aww. I'd love to go there someday. Well, it's probably our last big trip before Lauren's off to college, so... I wanted to make it count. I'm sure everyone will have a great time. <laughs> Reminds me of a family trip we're supposed to take to Vegas. <laughs> we haven't had a three-pointer coffee break in a while. <laughs> you remember how that one shot of yours went wild and smashed the picture of old Chief Burke? <laughs> yep. Couldn't show my face around here for a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you in on a secret. Most people hated Burke anyway. Your dad's a far better chief than he ever was. Oh. Hey, sorry I kept you waiting. No worries. You'll never believe it. We caught the mailbox bandit. And guess who it was? A kid. Let me guess. Some bored kid? Eh, wrong. It's a raccoon. <laughs> Delos Crossing's most wanted turned out to be some trash panda stowaway. <laughs> and this is how legends begin. I love it. Anyway, hun, I'm so sorry to bail, but I gotta run this little guy to animal control now. Probably best I take a rain check. Oh, it's, it's okay. Totally, I understand. Duty calls. Thanks. Oh, uh, I brought you a little something to make up for missing your birthday. It's not much, but. You're kidding, I love it. Did you make this? <laughs> How did I get so lucky? Aw. Bella's Crossing's not gonna be the same without you, girl. <laughs> oh, come on. Right, I'll call you later. And try to get some sleep, all right? See ya. Eat the cobbler. Well, there go my lunch plans. Hey, your brother didn't tag along today? No. He didn't really want to show his face around here after the mess he made yesterday, huh? Mm. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. It got kind of out of hand. <laughs> Don't worry. We know it wasn't your idea, but look, we're all worried about you. This isn't the Allison we know. The Allison you know? Yeah, a sweet, smart girl who'd never hurt anyone on purpose. I know you two and the chief made peace, but I gotta say, it ate at him all day. I'm sorry, but I really don't wanna have this conversation right now. I, I had a rough morning. All right, I just want you to be careful. I've been doing this for a long time. And people, they mostly don't change, even when we really want them to. Look, I'm really tired. Can we not do this? Allison, I like you. I really do. I've known you since you were a kid. You're honest, 
stable. He's not in trouble anymore. Tyler. I mean, if he goes down, don't let him take you with him. Okay? I, I can't. I can't do this. Oh, are you okay? Please, just let me go. I need air. I need some air. Oh, Allison, honey. before this will pass uh, time your hold and release to help Allison breathe got it This is an interesting mechanic, and I like this. Just keep going. In and out. I'm Brooklyn same, honestly. I'm interested to see how this culminates. My heartbeat's slowing down. Hold on. Are you fibbing? I'm scared. I don't know what these people are gonna be like. Or when I'm gonna see you again. We can still undo it. We can tell them what really happened. No way. It's done. That's it. You're gonna be there to talk on the voice if I need you, right? Of course. It'll almost be like we're still together. It's time to get going now. Come on. Wait, Chief. Just a sec. Hey, Sam? Uh, it's... I am... Uh, I went back to the house and got a few things for you. I know how much you've meant to you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. Oh, kids. I... This is just goodbye till next time, okay? <laughs> Allison? What are you doing out here? It's freezing. I just needed some air. What happened? What's wrong, little moose? I think I had a panic attack. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be okay. Let's get you inside and warmed up. And then we can talk about what happened. No, oh, Eddie.
I'm sorry. This morning has just been so... God, I'm embarrassed. Don't be. You haven't had an attack in a while. What's going on? I've just been so wrong about everything. Did Tyler say something to make you feel that way? N no. It wasn't him. It was me. I failed him over and over. From here, it looks like you've been busting your ass to help him. You don't understand. Allie, you've got so much weight on your shoulders. With Tyler coming back and your big move, you know, maybe it's time to ease off some of this, some of this other stuff that's clearly stressing you out. If you mean Marianne, I can't. I owe it to Tyler to see it through. Do you? I don't know why you've always blamed yourself for that. It wasn't your fault. Mm. Uh, it's not true. That's not true, Uncle. I was there. I... You were 11 years old. There was nothing you could do. You can't go on letting it haunt you every waking moment. <sighs> Look, you're not your mother, okay? What do you mean? I mean, something happened to her. Something bad. I don't know what it was, but... I never left her. You can't make that same mistake. You gotta tell those ghosts to move on. Oh. I think we tell him the truth. Chat, what do you think? Do we do we tell him the truth? Or just I can't move on? Uh oh. Uncle. It was me. I is the one who had the scissors. What? What, what are you saying? She, she was threatening Tyler. Her. <laughs> I, I killed her. <laughs> I killed my mother. <laughs> but Tyler confessed. He. He went to Fireweed. We lied. We lied to everyone. Your pals just subscribed. Wow, that certainly ain't nothing but a heartache. God damn it, Derp. Derp, thank you so much for the resub. It's so hard. To, it's so weird to think that it's been 15 months since I hit affiliate. It's fucking wild. Hey, Derp. Welcome in. We're at a really intense emotional part. So, uh, yeah. But Derp, it's so good to see you. Thank you so much for 15 months. Uh, you can very much hear now that my voice is thrashed and I haven't been using it much today. So, there's that. <laughs> I hope your drive back was good. I know first day of class has treated you well. <laughs> How? How? 
could you let him take the blame? It was a mistake, I know. But we were in shock. And Tyler wanted to take the blame. And I let him. <laughs> we should have told the truth. It must have really hurt. Keeping that inside all these years. I pretty much just bottled it up. And now it's all I can think about. <laughs> Everywhere I look, she's there. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> It's not easy to admit something like that. It takes a lot of courage, Allison. I, I should have seen it. I... Oh. I'm so sorry. None of this was fair to you two. Thank you, Uncle. How are you feeling now? Any better? <laughs> Relieved, actually. I'm no. really tired. I was remembering something earlier. I don't know if it even really happened. The day Tyler left for Fireweed. Did Sam come by with some of our stuff? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. He did. How close was he to Marianne? How close were he and Marianne? I, I don't know exactly. But he cared about her a lot. Her... Her death really shook him up. He was over at our house a lot, fixing things, chasing off animals. I know you didn't turn up anything about who our biological father was, but did you ever think it might have been Sam? Oof. Well, your mom and him were close, so that's a possibility, but I never found any proof, no. I should go talk to him. Are you sure that's a good idea? You need to get some rest. I have to do this. And not just for Tyler. For me too. I love you, Uncle. Thank you for everything. I'll call you later. Yeah, so see, you say that, but I think it's not as clear cut of one of those cases. We're playing a lot as Allison right now, which is interesting okay. to me. You can do this. Out of order, go around. Good. He's here. It's also Alaska. The law isn't as cut and dry as it is down <sighs> in the lower 48. Tyler, are you there? Okay. <sighs> Mind your head. I mean, yeah. It's all tied up in the other murder trial. Family, family, family. Carpet. Oh, Allie, I... 
Or, uh... Oh. Hi, Sam. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I haven't seen your boat in the water for a while. Uh, yeah, it was time for annual haul out. Haul out? Oh, yeah. You gotta get her up out of the water so you can fix up the haul. I've been uh, missing some tools I need, so it's taking a while. So, um, how's she doing? Huh? You, uh, you go to her diner sometimes, right? Your friend works there? Oh, you're trying to ask me how your ex wife is doing. <laughs> Change the boat's name. <laughs> you ever think about getting around to changing your boat's name? It's kind of confusing. <laughs> what are you trying to do, sinker? You can't just go changing the name of a boat. It's bad luck. <laughs> Sam. So, um, how is she? Uh, Laura's fine. Um, she seems fine. I went to her diner the other day. She mostly gushed about Dylan's article in the Juno Daily. Your son, Dylan. I know who Dylan is. <laughs> I just hadn't heard he... So, uh, what, huh? Oh, I know this one. The introduction will be forever burned in my brain. Oh, I should have let that play. Impressive collection. When you want some, take them. I don't really navigate anymore. Uh... -oh. Oh, uh, hey, an encyclopedia of astronomy. I have this one. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Real detail. Uh, I didn't know you liked astronomy. I didn't know you were interested in astronomy. Well, how are you supposed to navigate if you don't know your ass from Orion? <laughs> oh, that's a really nice sextant. Well, it sure is. It's a present from my old crew for my 30th birthday. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Well, it's mostly just for decoration these days, but uh, I'm a big fan of doing things the old-fashioned way. Huh? Can't believe the chain or the belt coming back on. So, uh, did you need something? I was hoping to. Uh, I actually wanted to check out your boat. Is all. Uh, yeah. Well, all right. Uh, here she is. Okay, Sam. So, um, I was over at the station and I was thinking about some things. Yeah? You've known us for a while. Your whole lives. You puked all over my slick denim button up. That's a nice memory. <laughs> Your brother. Uh, back at the house. Back at the house, I guess. <clears throat> so, uh, what's he getting up to today? Who knows? Huh. All right. Can we just have this conversation, Sam? <laughs> Authorize Sam only. I like it. Anyway, fine. I guess I'll sit down here and talk to you. Hey, Sam, are you our dad? Is he, uh, how's the house coming along? Slow. There's a lot to do. Of course. I mean, <laughs> there's a whole life, uh, lives in there. It's no shame. Are you going to be long? I was hoping we could talk. I don't need my ears to fix an engine. What's up? I, uh, Never mind. Oh my God, Allison. Allison, just fucking ask. So, um. What are you doing wandering around in the middle of the working day? I'm off today. Sam, could we talk now? It's a little important. Ain't that what we're doing? Oh my God, Allison. What are you doing? Ah. Cousin Billy bought an old motorboat, but that fool drowned the engine taking her out. <laughs> yeah, uh, I told him I'd fix it. 
Just attach the paternal umbilical cord. Hey, cuz, I left you my boat a month ago, and as far as I can tell you, the only work you've done is touch how much beer you can fit on it. I paid you in advance as a favor because I know you need it, but God damn it, I need my boat. Family is family, but get it done by this weekend, or I'm reporting it's stolen, and you know you're tired of brown on your ass. P.S. Answer your goddamn phone. The first judicial court, sums no soup here. DUI. Ballot papers, Alaska Fishermen Association, choose a candidate. Uh, payment, wow, $446 in the hole. Return check fee, fee for the return check. Overdraft, overdraft, monthly fee. Uh, damn, Sam. Here. Would this help? Oh, uh, <laughs> thanks, princess, but that ain't it. Oh, it's, uh, it's in a red can. Not a princess. Red can. Is this it? Red can. You need some shit in a red can, Sam? Let's see. It's gotta be this other can. Okay. <laughs> Beer and pizza. Wait. Uh, here. Give. How about this? Huh? No. No, it should be on one of those shelves back there. Don't stress yourself out. I can work them for you eventually. It's the red stripe can. Red stripe, god damn it. Uh, shut open, please. Red can that also looks like just another can of WD forty. You already looked at all that. Hey Sam, just one fix. Hey, Good. Well, let's see. Should be just about. <laughs> Pass me that wrench, will ya? Mm. Sam, are you our father? <sighs> Figured you'd ask me that question someday. Well? I wish I was. What the hell kind of answer is that? It means no. I'm sorry, Allie. Allie. But the man you're looking for, he ain't me. Oh, okay. Guess I'll just take your word for it then. Hey, you got no right coming in here, getting angry at me for something I got nothing to do with. But you were so close. But you two were so close. I know you meant something to her. You honestly think I would have let you two grow up without a father? I may be a deadbeat, but I'm no coward. Oh. You must know something. I truly don't. Your mama, she never. Look, we were just friends. I mean, Take a look at old Sam. 
No woman like Mary Ann would ever think twice about a guy like me. I'm so sick of this. I'm so tired of trying to unravel all of Mary Ann's fucking secrets. I don't... I don't understand her. I want to hate her so much. But I don't even know who she was. Come with me. I want to show you something. Mm. Absolutely, Brooklyn. He loved her. He loved her so much. Come in. Come in. Oh. When was the last time you cracked a window? What do you do on board? Oh, I work the deck. Started out doing maintenance. Collecting the garbage, mm. cleaning the hull. Ranked up to navigation after a while. Right. Hence the sextant. Looking sharp, first mate Kansky. Uh, what's that now? These pictures. Oh, well, yeah, that... That was, uh... A long time ago. Where all did you travel to? Mostly worked the Southeast Asian route. <laughs> Vietnam, Cambodia, around those parts. Wow, I had no idea you were so worldly. Well, I, uh, I worked on a cargo, so I didn't get much shore leave. But, you know, there's, there's really nowhere my legs feel as steady as on the deck of a ship, hmm. steering her toward a deep blue horizon. Even this scent is owed to Samuel. Oh my God. Much better. <laughs> hey, come have a look. I will hold on. Hero boat captain saves crew member Samuel Kamsky, the 29 year old captain of. Uh, I don't know how to say that, Rose. Didn't think twice before jumping into the ice cold, choppy waters of Mitchell Point to save members of his crew after the vessel capsized off the coast of Juneau. Sam! If it gets the house sold, it gets the house sold. $200,000 for that house. Interesting. Love this picture of your mom. Huh. I, I think you said something about that once, Toast. Uh, Dad, I talked to Mom. And she said you were having some trouble. It's not much, but hopefully it's enough to put some food in the fridge. Call me, Richard. TV on the fritz. Why is there a burnt up pan in your garbage? Oh, yeah, <laughs> that. Uh, I might have fallen asleep cooking dinner. Glad you're still with us. <laughs> Salmon casserole. They've got some good recipes. I bet you that would be actually be tasty. Oh, he's got a meal plan. Huh. Wonder how often does he eat at Tessa's? Just once a week. I want to investigate as much as I can before talking talking to him. What's all this? Here. I uh I kept a few things. I remember this. We got this on our trip to Juno. Uh -huh. <laughs> she saved up for a whole year to make that happen. Dear Sam, I'm writing you from the little hotel you recommended in downtown Juno, and you were right. The kids love the whale mural. Our other favorite was the Raven mural at City Hall. 
Today we took the tramway to the top of Mount Roberts. Kids wanted to hike the trail, but we only made it to the totems. Tomorrow we're going to hike to Nugget Falls to see if the glaciers, the glacier still looks like what's on the other side. Hope, hope. Uh, hope you're hauling them in by the barrel load, Marianne. Dear Sam, most bears only live to 20 or 25, so congratulations on making it to 29. I certainly would have survived long out here without you, so thanks again for everything you do. Laura is a very lucky woman. I know you think the best part of your past has been erased, but as long as you don't forget, oh, the ship will always be seaworthy. It just might look a little bit smaller in memory. I hope you get some time on the water with Richie this weekend and catch everything you deserve, including some new memories. Happy birthday, my cherished friend, Mary Ann. Swords and skeins. Oh, and I took her to see that for her birthday. <laughs> she hated every second of it. The whole drive back, she talked about how it butchered the books. Did you like it? Did you like it? I, uh, well, <laughs> fell asleep before I even saw a sword. <laughs> Mother made that. Oh, she was a real artist, that one. Kind of like you. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Look at these ones. She looks happy. Hmm. She was. Hmm. When was this? Why are you wearing a square hat? <laughs> oh, yeah, that was when I finally got my captain's license. <laughs> Mary Ann's the one who pushed me to get it. Made me wear that stupid hat when I went to take the oath. <laughs> huh. Yeah, Laura took this one. We'd been working on that barn for months. That roof was a son of a bitch to sheath. Rain just kept on leaking into the loft. Wait, the barn has a loft? Oh, yeah. You didn't know? Oh, uh, she didn't tell us. Is that a trap door? Yeah. Jimmy closed the whole thing up. Told her it was going to be real hard to get any hay up there, but she said she didn't mind. Do you know what's up there? I could tell she didn't want to talk about it, so I respected that. Well, we're going to have to empty it out for the sale, so I guess we'll know soon enough. Well, are you really going to go through with this? Just like I told you, that, that house meant everything to your mama. It's, it's all I, it's all we got left. <laughs> you can't just throw it away. He's still grieving so Sorry. much. I know how hard this has been on you. But you need to move on. What's done is done. Maybe it would help to talk to someone about it? I never tell you about the time I broke my leg. Shin bone snapped in three different places. Stuck on my ass for a month. No use to anybody. I was so down, I couldn't even bring myself to get out of bed. But your mama, well, she doesn't have none of that. <laughs> she got me up one morning and drove me to a nice spot by the harbor. We watched the boats go 
I'm in and out. Oh, Lord. You can't let yourself be defined by the parts that are broken. That's what you told me. You gotta find a way to work with what you got. I think, think about that a lot. Gotta remember. Sam. Huh. He reminds me so much of my dad. It's unbelievable. Achievement unlocked. Are you my daddy? Yeah, no, Sam is the real dad. He's just not the sperm donor. Allie. I, I... It was very important for me for Allison to tell Eddie and, and talk to Eddie about what was going on, what happened, what she did, her involvement and participation in the whole thing. It was very important because she's not going to find closure until she does that. She's not going to find closure until she's open with the people who are most important in her life. And then going to talk to Sam about, is Sam their dad? Because we joke about, you know, we, we were kind of poking and theorizing that Sam was dad. Because Sam took care of the house. He stayed in Allison's life and all these things. And to find out that Sam wasn't, it, it, it hit the heart <laughs> and it's just, uh, looking at Sam, he is so much like my dad. He is so much like my dad and it hits me, it, it hits me pretty hard, but I did, I think pretty well in, in dealing with that. But I mean, Sam is just like any other gruff old man, sur surly old dude who uh, who just cares and cares about kids who aren't his own. And so it's it's very sad that he's not their biological dad, but he is their dad. Uh, I firmly believe that. So. Um, another feel feels heavy episode, but I needed yeah, I, like we are in the pivotal section of the game. So thank you so much for watching. Um, same thing as always. Uh, subscribe, comment, like, you know, do the good things for the algorithm gods. And um, I, I appreciate you watching. And if you made it this far, um, thank you. So. I love your faces right off your face holders. No, that's not my outro for this. I want you guys to remember to be good to yourselves. Be good to others. Um, you never know who cares. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, Sam may not be their birth dad, but Sam is their dad, and you will not change my mind, goddammit. You will not change my mind.